this is Kiara Sudim from Beated 1E, and I'm with my co-members Quinto Sandrick Chase, Revelius Princess Erica, Samson Alain Joey, and Soma Seville, and we are the Group 11. And for today's video presentation, we are here to tackle the Lesson 11, which is the problems of human trafficking. But first, let us know what is human trafficking. Human trafficking is the second largest and fastest growing criminal industry in the world, with as many as 20 million individuals living in slavery-like conditions. So in this lesson, we'll cover with elements, types, criminalization, and the problem itself. Human trafficking in person is a serious crime and a grave violation of human rights. Every year, thousands of men, women, and children fall into the hands of traffickers in their own country and even abroad. Almost every country in the world is affected by trafficking, whether as a country of origin, transit, or destination of victims. The unlawful act of transporting and coercing people in order to benefit from their work or service, typically in the form of forced labor or sexual exploitation. The UNODC or United Nations Office on Drug and Crime as guardian of UNTOC or United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime and also the protocols there to assist and state in their effort to implement the protocol to prevent, suppress, and punish trafficking in person or trafficking in person's protocol. Furthermore, the UNODC aims to assist member states in building their capacity, like through the criminal justice reforms as appropriate to respect the rule of law as well as protect and ensure the legal rights that individuals and groups enjoy their domestic international law. Also, the UNTOC, the protocol aims that um, preventing the combating the smuggling of migrants, as well as promoting cooperation among state parties, while protecting the rights of smuggled migrants and preventing the worst forms of their exploitation which often characterize the smuggling process. So in everyone, in the easy way to know what is human trafficking, here's the following example. Forced labor, debt banding, sexual exploitation, forced marriage, domestic servitude, organ removal, and many more to mention. So now, let's proceed to our next reporter. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Princess Arika Iribilias, and for my part, I will discuss about the elements of human trafficking. The human trafficking has three elements, the act, the means, and the purpose. The act, or what is done, are actions which may be the recruiting, harboring, transporting, providing or obtaining of an individual. Example of human trafficking is recruiting, which is um, hiring a person in an illegal way. The next one is the means or how it is done. Through the means of force, fraud, or coercion, example of force include physical abuse or assault, Sexual abuse or assault or confinement, example of fraud, include false promises of working living conditions, withholding promise wages, or contract fraud. Con Coercions may be include threats of harm to self or others, theft, bondage, psychological manipulation, or document confiscations. For the last one is the purpose or why it is done. The purpose of exploitation, which includes exploiting the prostitution of others, sexual exploitation, forced labors, slavery, or similar practices, and removal of organs. So, the purpose is yung parang kinakalat mo yung mga nalalaman mo sa isang tao. For example, may kilala kang um, prostitute or nagbebenta ng katawan. Like, cyber sex, uso yun ngayon. Um, gagamitin mo yun, kasi alam mo yung katayuan ng isang tao, gagamitin mo yun sa kanya for, para pagperahan siya or 
para sa tuwing magkakaano siya, magkakapera, bibigyan kanya so that you will not exploit her dignity or hindi mo ikakalat yung mga nalalaman mo sa kanya. That is the purpose of exploiting someone. So, always remember the three elements of human trafficking. The act or what is done. The means or how it is done. The purpose or why it is done. Thank you for listening. That's all for my topic. So, let's proceed to our next reporter. Hi everyone, this is Sanri J. Sam Quinto and I will discuss the criminalization of human trafficking. Criminalization of human trafficking. The mobilization, purchase, or receipt of people through force, deception, coercion, or manipulation of power by or vulnerability I through moderate transaction or persuasion that enable the control of a person for the purpose of exploitation. And the only traffic victims are women, children, and kidnap and sex slave and drug addict. That's all for my topic. So let's proceed to our next reporter. Hi everyone, my name is Saido Somo and for my part, I will discuss the types of human trafficking. Number one, sex trafficking. Sex trafficking is human trafficking for a purpose of sexual exploitation. It has been called a form of modern slavery because of the way victims are forced into sexual acts, usually non-consensually in a form of sexually slavery. Number two, forced labor trafficking. This is a form of modern-day slavery in which individuals perform labor or service through the use of the force, fruit, and circuit. Labor trafficking includes situation of the bondage, forced labor, and voluntary child labor. Number three, deep bondage trafficking. Of course, when a person is is forced to work to pay off the dip. There are tricked into working for a little or no pay with no control over their dip. Most of the money they earn just to pay off their back loans. And that's all for my topic. So let's proceed to our next reporter, Miss Samson. Hi everyone, this is Sir Joey Samson and for my part, I will discuss the element of human trafficking, the problem. The problem of human trafficking happens in almost every country around the world, including the Philippines. Traffickers represent every social, ethnic, and racial group. Various organizational types exist in trafficking including large nationwide gangs and criminal organizations. Local street and motorcycle gangs are individual with no affiliation with any one group or organization. Traffickers are not allowed only men and women are also perfected. Increasingly, traffickers are using fear tactics to lure children and youth into commercial sex, up and complain labor. The base of the issue is the one trafficker goal of exploiting and exciting victim in core and discipline practice. They used to do so men, men and women from a wide variety of background are victims to sex trafficking. Vulnerability factors that make individuals more susceptible to traffickers include low self-esteem, being abused, or neglecting poverty, homeless, being in the foster care system, and identifying as LGBT. Children's emotional and economical independence on other and undeveloped ability to analyze decision and understand consequence combined with their high market value among buyer make them special vulnerability to trafficker a trafficker or fam is anyone who profit by receiving cash or benefit in exchange for the sex act trafficker can be family member friends or boyfriend buyer are those who purchase the sex act thereby fooling the commercial sex in industry by making it 
profitable. Recruiting, enticing, harboring, transporting, providing, obtaining, or maintaining a manner for forfars or commercial sex work. Young people, especially those with risk factor, are valuable to human trafficking. Let administration for children and families at the Department of Health and Human Service issued new guidance on child trafficking to child welfare system and runaway and homeless youth program because of increased vulnerability to trafficking for youth who have experienced prior abuse or who have run away from home. These young people are often paid or by trafficker and lure with false promises of love, money, or simply a better life. That's all for my report. Thank you. So that's all. Thank you for watching.